Stepsons, if you like to eat french fries, then you'll like this video. We're going to show you how to make your own homemade french fries, deep fried in a turkey fryer. The equipment we need to deep fry, at least at this scale, is a big pot. The burner that the pot sits on, we need a propane tank, and we need oil to cook it in. Let's go get set up. So this is assembling the propane tank to the burner. All right, so this has been hooked up to the feeder line to the burner. Open this valve. This is a regulator. And for this particular one, this has a safety feature on it that you have to actually come and press this button every five minutes, I believe it is. Otherwise, the burner will shut off. And that's a safety feature on this particular type of a burner because the risks are so much higher. If it's not attended, you don't want to walk away and have a pot full of boiling oil uh, with a flame underneath it not be attended. So we're going to open the valve to the propane tank. This secondary pressure regulator, or this pressure regulator here, stops it at 5 psi, pounds per square inch. So we turn that one after we start the flame in here. There we go. And now it's lit in the burner. I don't know if you can see that because it's a clear flame, but if you hold your hand over it, you can feel the heat. If we're going to make french fries, we need potatoes and we need to slice them up. We could peel the potatoes and then do them without skins, but we're just going to scrub them off and leave the skins on them and then chop them up. cutting them we want them to be as uniform as we can in terms of thickness so that they'll cook evenly when we put them in the oil and here are our future french fries now we're ready to cook so we got to heat the oil All right, little liner. I poke my pocket knife through just to pop it off, get the grip through it. I'll throw that out in a minute. And we'll put oil in. So that's the oil in there. Now this is when we need the lid because we don't want leaves falling into it. Okay, we've got the lid so that we can not have leaves fall into the burner. Next, now this is check it, make sure it's not hot. It's not. I'm going to slide it a little bit this way so I can see. And now I'm going to open the gas valves and, and light this with the oil in there. So this valve's off. This one's off. I'm going to open it now. Now put the flame in here and turn the little one. Oh, it's been more than five minutes since that got pushed. Because it didn't light until I pushed that and then it lit right off. So now it's going, the oil's in, the oil is heating. We're watching the temperature. We're trying to get it up to 300. Almost there. We're going to put these in the oil now.
in the first place. Yeah. And that. Here's the verdict. They are really good. I don't want to leave you without understanding the cleanup parts of this too. Unfortunately, that's part of deep frying as well. Right now, the temperature is still over 100 degrees. I think it's probably cool enough we can mix it with the unused and we'll be okay. All right, here's what the oil looks like after, and it's still pretty clean except for some of the uh, potato pieces skin that are in the bottom so we'll pour it slowly so that we don't put that in once it starts going in I'll just set this down on the ground and we know where it's gonna land what? <laughs> maybe all right we have a little bit in the bottom and otherwise we wash the pan out that's part of the cleanup and put the oil away for next time so we took the burner down, we put the propane away, all that stuff, but someone has to clean the pot. Now we're going to let it air dry and we'll put it away and put it away we put all the accessories and store them inside the tub because it's just convenient he's giving him his what everybody needs to know about being a man speech all right Johnny I want to know do you feel like you could make your own deep fried homemade french fries after watching this episode. Make sure that you're sharing this with your friends and checking in regularly because I want you to know that I'm thinking about you. I want you to learn skills that will help you be confident as you grow up. Always remember the two lessons that I want in every video and that is one, you can succeed even though your dad is not in your daily life. And number two, always remember that your stepdad loves you. That was a good speech. started we need not that and we need oh frick all right we'll edit that one out have to check with my production assistant and i don't even know what these things are well, why is this one different than this one then oh it's going i just can't see it <laughs> Trust me, there's a flame there, once in a while.